friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra once again. On today in Shiksha Mantra, we are going to discuss yes, something that's our new segment here. It's about our ICSC class 10 literature. Yes, dear friends, today we are going to discuss a poem of class 10 ICSC syllabus. Now, what is the poem? The poem is Nine Gold Medals. Yes, that poem which inspires us all to do something extraordinary in our life. And today we are going to discuss the same poem that is very much essential for your preparation of ICSE exam. So let's begin our discussion of Nine Gold Medals nine gold medals so when we discuss about the poem it's better to start it uh, by saying a few words about the poem and the poet so it's written by american rock vocalist david ruth and uh, this song it's actually inspired human compassion and also cooperation Yes, dear friends, as human beings, we must remember we have been created for compassion and cooperation by the God. But most of the time, we forget this. So what uh, we must do that has been very, very clearly told here through this poem. It's a very simple poem, but the poem is based on a story. Yes, that's a narrative poem. And this story is equally interesting. It's about nine Olympians and all of them were gold medalists. So it starts in uh, an, an event of the Special Olympic. There was a race. Nine participants were ready to hit the track. When the race starts, one of the participants fell down. The other participants, they didn't run to the finishing point, rather they returned. They helped that uh, person, that differently abled person, to stand on his feet and then together they reach the finishing line hand in hand they didn't leave one of their co-runner so this is the poem this is the story of the poem and here each of the athletes have been rewarded with a gold medal but for what it's not for coming first in the event rather it's for their empathy it's for their sportsman spirit this is what we call empathy compassion and sportsman spirit this is the ultimate example of this so that's our nine gold medals so this is uh, about the poem but when we search the poem in internet you will get different versions of it so many versions are available in the internet regarding this poem when we consider this poem in our icsc class 10 syllabus there it has been uh, taken from a scottish singer his name was mackintosh and uh, he sang this song in 1996 this version and it's included in our syllabus in our ICSC class 10 syllabus and uh, actually uh, if we find out whether this story is true or not we'll get several uh, different opinions regarding this some will stay, say yes uh, it's a true story and the others will see say no it's not a true story there are so very 
difference of opinions for this when we get to the when we actually uh, get to the uh, detail of uh, the events so this is actually happened in 1976 in a track and field event that is held in uh, Spokane, Washington in a special Olympic event. But there uh, it's uh, told that uh, not all of them returned, but only one or two of them had returned to the starting point to pick up their uh, co-runner. So there's uh, so very different uh, uh, types of uh, uh, expressions and different types of stories are available in the market but when to go after this we'll stay with what is there in our syllabus what story we get here in our textbook in our literature book so now it's time for us to uh, get to the detail of the poem so before we start this we must remember the authenticity of the incident is not important. Most of the time I've found that my students are making these mistakes. They are running after the authenticity of the event. But it's not your goal. What's your goal? Your goal is to find out the poem in the spirit it has been written. The poet has uh, present something for you and you have to go after this and uh, you have to find out the message actually you have to remember this this one is a very important point what point i'm saying here this point is very very important you have to remember this so this is a story which teaches we the people who consider ourselves to be able much able-bodied people they are telling us what is humanity they are telling us what is empathy and what is compassion what is cooperation what is collaboration and that's the message what we do we are always running in a rat race the same rat race uh, in which we are in competitions with all other uh, our uh, friends with our classmates there's a rat race going every time you are in the field you are in a competition and that competition actually kills the spirit the spirit of cooperation the spirit of empathy and here it has been shown in the poem the message is quite clear competition is good but that competition is worthless which kills our empathy which kills our sympathy for others which kills our spirit of collaboration and togetherness so this is the message and also the theme of this poem okay so it's time for us to explain the poem line by line we'll uh, read the first stanza and then we'll discuss it the athletes had come from so many countries to run for the gold and the silver and bronze. Many weeks and months in training, all building up to the game. So the athletes have come from different countries. So they don't know each other. And they have taken part in this Olympic event from different part of the world. This is a special Olympics. We must remember this. And here, these uh, Olympians, these athletes, they have come here to compete. Compete for what? Compete for the gold medals. Yes, dear friends. Gold medal, this is a very important word to focus here. Why? Because gold medal is the most prized thing for an Olympian. So they have come here for the gold medals. Their sole aim is the gold medal. And for this, they have prepared themselves a lot. They have go through a very, uh, they have gone through a very uh, strenuous process, uh, a very strenuous training procedure. A 
and they are all prepared for the games. So this is what uh, our first stanza says. It says what they have participated here with preparation for months together and now they have one goal only one dream one hope that is to win the medals so let's sit to the second stanza and see what's there all round the field spectators were gathered cheering on all the young women and men then the final event of the day was approaching. The last race about to begin. So there was a large audience gathered there. They were present to cheer those uh, Olympians, those athletes who are hitting the truck, who are jostling and fighting with each other, not for the gold only. But the point is, here we must remember that they are differently every people. So they have some limitations and they are overcoming these limitations and to cheer up this spirit, people gathered there in the uh, stadium to cheer them up and uh, they were cheering the men and women who were there in the Olympics. And finally, it's time for the final event. The time for the final race has appeared and everyone was eagerly waiting for this last event to start and then the third stanza the loudspeakers called out the names of the runners the 100 meters the rest to be run and nine young athletes stood there determined and poised for the sound of the gun so the names of the runners are already been declared the names for those who are taking part in this 100 meter race. So their names announced. Now the nine participants, they are uh, there on the track. They stood with much determination. It appeared that they are very much determined to give their best and uh, win the competition. They lined up behind the starting point they were all set they were ready to start but we we're only waiting for the starting gun to sound that is uh, the starting gun to be fired now the fourth stanza the signal was given the pistol exploded and so did the runners on hearing the sound but the youngest among them stumbled and staggered and he fell on his knees to the ground. So there the pistol exploded, signaling the start of the event. All the runners charged ahead along their respective tracks. But suddenly, there occurred an unexpected thing. Most of the time, we feel a sympathy towards these differently abled persons but we must remember that uh, they are actually sometimes very much able they are very much able than what we could imagine and when these differently abled people they were uh, running the track the youngest of them, the shortest athlete, he stumbled and staggered and fell on his knees to the ground. So it was something unexpected. Neither the athletes nor the spectators were ready to experience such a thing. But it happened. It happened. Then there comes the fifth stanza. 
he gave out a cry of prostration and anguish his dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt but as sure as i'm standing here telling the story now it's a strange one but here's what occurred so that that athlete who fell down he was much frustrated so we are we who are observing this the spectators they are also much frustrated what happened everything for this athlete are uh, actually shattered his dream shattered his hope spoiled but then what happened was really unexpected we weren't ready to observe something like this that was much uh, strange that's beyond our expectations the poet uh, actually here presented these last two lines of the fifth stanza in an extraordinary way focusing the next things that will be described in the sixth stanza and that's the theme of the poem everything comes from there it's a narrative poem but besides being narrative it contains something special and that will come out here in the next stanza so let's see what's coming here the eight other athletes stopped in their tracks the ones who had trained for so long to compete one by one they turned round and came back to help him and lifted the lad to his feet so everything comes here they didn't run they didn't run rather they stopped and they returned to their fellow athlete who fell down on the ground and they gathered him up they picked him up they helped him to stand on his feet and this one actually uh, in this stanza the poet uh, again hammered the point that they were trained to win the gold medal they were trained for rough fight they have been uh, actually uh, they have been taught how to dash down the track and how to claim the win but they didn't follow this they didn't follow their destiny rather they follow their humanity and that's the point to be discussed here in this poem that's the point to keep in focus in this poem as well so let's uh, shift to the next stanza then all nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 meters reduced to a walk and the banner above that said special olympics could not have been near the mark so here what they did they joined hand together and they didn't run rather they walked down their track and completed the 100 meter race together so they reached the finishing point together hand in hand and there the banner that showed special olympics so here the use of this special olympic banner by the poet is also very very much significant where this stopped there it's written special olympic now the olympic is special because of these nine young athletes these nine differently abled athletes they had made this olympic special with their sportsmanship with their empathy with their compassion for each other with the humanity they have shown so it has become a special olympic so the banner of special olympic is no more the banner for the event rather this is now a banner 
for these nine athletes who had shown us what is humanity. Now we'll set to the last stanza, but uh, we'll break it in two parts. That's how the race ended with nine gold medals. They came to the finish line holding hands still. So finally the event come to an end. They reached the finishing line. Still, they didn't leave their hands. They are still holding their hands together. And they are showing that they are for each other. God has created us with this spirit. God has created us to help each other. Mother Teresa. What was her goal? Her goal was that. This is the goal for each and every great man and woman. So we are to do this. But we don't. We fight with each other. We jostle with each other. We are always in a competition. But these nine athletes, they had shown us the way to do it. And then the last three lines and the banner above for nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will. Said more than these words ever will. So the repetition of the line said more than these words ever will. It's very significant. But before that, you have to imagine, just shut your eyes down, close your eyes and think there's a banner written as a special Olympics and under that banner there stood nine athletes hand in hand all wear smiling. So it's like a poster, it's the poster of humanity and this poster says everything. No word is sufficient to narrate this poster. This poster cannot be narrated. It cannot be expressed. Rather, this poster expresses everything. And that's what the poet shade here. That's what the poet means here in this poem. And that is our nine gold medals. You have to think over it. If you have any question regarding any line, you may write it down uh, here in the comment box and uh, you may also DM me in uh, Instagram, my Instagram ID. Uh, and also, I'm available in Facebook in the name Shiksha Mantra. You can message me if uh, you need any clarification but the banner what is there in the last line that is there in what yes dear friends when you have stumbled upon this video seeing that banner so this is the banner i'm talking of here this is the banner the poet is talking of here which clearly says what it clearly says special olympics and under this nine smiling faces and that's all for today very soon we are returning with such videos regarding literature and english grammar stay tuned with us obviously we'll try our best to produce the best for you thank you thank you very much